I'm Lil Dicky. Trying to bring back the old school flow, like, my name's Dave and I'm here to say. Well, hey, I'm I'm joking. Joking. Pull the beat up. Welcome to the tour. This is your first tour. You supposed to go hard. This is the biggest event of the year, man. I'm Allie. This is no shitting on the bus. You shit, you split. How is the search for love going? I mean, I had such high hopes. This was supposed to be like the romantic climax of life. This is the scroll guard. It is an STD preventative tool. Oh, wow. wow. You look great. I feel so protected. I'm so happy that I get to see America for what it is. You're like my favorite rapper. Is that me? It's concrete. <laughs> this is the heaviest thing. Oh, wow. You're with him every day. How do you resist him? Are you serious? <laughs> because I'm with him every day. Welcome to the Met Gala. Need some adversity, dog. Bro, you fall down seven times, you get up eight. Why would I have to get up eight times if I've only fallen down seven? The math doesn't even add up. We just gotta control them. I don't have any control over Dave. Tour is just the one time where there's no deadlines. I can just live life to the F. Whoa! Please do not shoot. USA. USA. <laughs> You don't know my values. Maybe we have more in common than you might think. Why don't you just tell me what they are? Uh, Mom, what are our values? Coffee for Jew? Jew? Coffee for... There you go, Jew. That's the foot. Any pain? What's wrong? That's the foot. Feels like we should be happier. Any pain? I want schmickadoo. Happy people in bright colors. Schmickadoo, where are you? Maybe it's one of those places that you only go once and never return. Oh, like Cell Cycle. Schmickago? Welcome to Schmickago. This is very different. Now our heroes into the city of Chicago. Who is he talking to? At one point, a lot of musicals had narrators. Sorry, go ahead. Really? Do I have your permission? Uh-oh, he's peppery. Clearly, we're in the next era of musicals here. Do we shock you? These musicals are darker. <laughs> with more sex. Oh, yay. And violence. You gotta be kidding me. How are we supposed to make a happy ending here? These musicals don't have happy endings. Sounds like someone needs a lesson in the power of happiness. Who wants to get naked? What I need is a lawyer. Once I've worked my magic, no jury will ever convict your hubby, even if he kills again. Josh didn't do it. Uh-huh. Chicago. Chicago. So, you two want a girl? You need my help to answer that question? No, thank you. Amy, are you okay? I've been hustling my whole life. And look where it's gotten me. Let's make it stop. What is your problem? What? I have a very full life that I'd love to get back to. I'm gonna find you and take what little you have. You're just a suburban housewife, and now you're stuck in a life you never wanted. You have this serene Zen Buddhist thing going on. Hey. 
I'm a dangerous guy. <laughs> so stop messing with me and leave me alone, or else. I would love to let this go, but actions have consequences. I just can't understand what those people are so angry about. Bitch-ass handyman pissing on my hardwood floor? This is European. Oh, my God. I found ways to manage my stress. You're born, make choices, oh, yeah! and suddenly you're here. This is fun. Maybe we're not normal. Maybe normal people are just delusional. You started this. Me? Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, you're the one who backed into me like a psycho. You're the one that flipped me off all roided out and sh Hey! Are you guys leaving or are you just gonna sit there? What'd you say? What'd you say? Say it again! I dare you to say it again! Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you for the best summer of my short life. And welcome to the 1954 to 55 school year. Livia, save your seat on my lap. <laughs> sure to be our greatest year at Rydale yet. Do you promise Troy and Bill we'd eat lunch with them today? To end the divisions among us. I want to be a T-bird. <laughs> and become a truly united Rydale. He told me exactly what you did to get that jacket. It's not as bad as it seems. These things blow over. Maybe for you. There are a lot of kids in Rydell who are sick of feeling like they're not welcome here. I know what it feels like to not be like the others. really change things. Everyone already thinks we're such bad girls. Watch out, fellas. It's a girl game. We're not girls, we're ladies. The pink ladies. We're gonna need some jackets. The pink lady pledge is to act cool, to look cool, and to be cool. Till death do us part, think pink. Changing boys. Maybe sometimes you gotta be bad to do good. How are you both? Great. Fine. Danny blasted porn on the Bluetooth speakers this <laughs> Claire's morning. Claire's vibrator just... literally melted from overuse. Would you believe me now? If My I life is a mess. My husband kicked me out a few days ago. My daughter hates me. <gasps> oh my God! Mom! A threesome is a big leap. Maybe you were subconsciously worried about our little threesome, about what? me and you and Dad. Ew! No, ew, I don't want to in that ew. same way. How did I get so far from the person I wanted to be? What would I tell my 22-year-old self? Stop worrying whether you're fat. Who gives a shit? And stop obsessing about your nose. Your nose is perfect. Don't take your mom for granted. She won't be here forever. Blair Marie Pierce is an award-winning essay writer and soon-to-be college graduate with a 4.0. Come on out, Claire! <laughs> of the best writers I know. An advice column is easy clicks. Okay, take a look. You should be the one doing this. I'm not giving anybody advice. What would I tell my 22-year-old self? Someday, you'll look back on that one Christmas when your mother gave you a mustard yellow coat. Don't hold it up and say it's too puffy because your mother will be dead by spring and that coat will be the last gift she ever gave you. I wish you weren't my mom. I could die tomorrow. And if I did, you would never forgive yourself because that would be the last thing that you would ever said to me. You're not the only one that could die tomorrow. So can I. That is an awful thing to say to me. I want so much for you. 
But you're not going to get any of it if you don't want it for yourself. What does it mean to heal? To move on? To let go? Why can't you make new friends? Like, what happened to Bethany? Bethany had anal sex on a Greyhound going to Reno. What? Yeah. Why would she want to take a bus to Reno? Oh my god, we've been to 1,500 places and my feet are freaking killing me. Please tell me you don't hate this one, too. I think I love it. All right, here we go. You're an adult now. It's the first time I felt like celebrating my existence since I was 11. Happy birthday! 29. I can't believe it. You are beautiful, even without makeup. I have so much makeup on. And it's perfect. I'm happy for you, Sam. Most people, sober or not, do not have a life that they are proud of. I have the first real job I've had in years. And I have a boyfriend. I quit! Sam, I don't think you're ready to be in a relationship. You don't? You shouldn't be asking me that question. I shouldn't. I think you should get out of here. You do? Please stop. I'm sorry. I tried really hard. If you make sobriety your number one priority, everything's gonna fall into place. You don't have to go to meetings every single day. Yes. Unfortunately, I do. I love millennial drama. <laughs> it is my favorite thing in the world. I'm sorry, I'm so much. Carol, can you control your daughter? No, I can't. Humans are fallible. We all need something bigger than we are to get through this. I actually have a gift for you. You ready? You were right. <laughs> Three best words in the English language. Not, I love you. Ew, no. Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm a gambler. Lost my job, lost my wife. I'm paying off all my debt. By working for the gangster you owe it to? Make sure she gets home, okay? You said this wasn't gonna happen again. Probably was, though. Hello? She's gone. I need you to go and get her. Where did she go? Florida! I bring her back. I walk away clean forever. My entire debt. Fine. I'm tracking down this woman. My employer is concerned for the woman's safety. Well, so am I. This woman you're looking for, she want to be found? No. Criminal type? Criminal adjacent. Well, then maybe you should talk to a criminal. You don't bring your trouble into my neighborhood, son. <laughs> Persuade it. How are you gonna get a gun? This is Florida. The goddamn state is shaped like a gun. Aren't you glad to see me, Mike? Your fortunes do for a turn. We're talking about a hundred million dollars. We're here to join forces. I'm running this show. We do it tonight or never. A Florida man found out the hard way when the hunter became the hunted. These are serious people. You need to leave. You don't have a compass. Florida doesn't have tracks. And that is a bad combination. This ain't Disney World anymore. You need to get out of here. I don't want to go without you. Not without what's coming to me. Everyone in this whole place can go ahead and kill each other. God! We won't even try to catch him anymore.
Your transformation is now complete. Your power will have no equal. My name is Brother Blood, and I'm going to change the world. Where are the Titans? Apparently, we live here. Maybe your friends are out there, just in a different dimension. Titans aren't my friends. I do things Titans don't do. We have the same blood. He's connected to me, feeding on me. I don't have much time. What are we toasting? To the future. What's next? We bring back your father. Give me what you got. You learn by doing. I will not abandon the people I love most. It's a matter of life and death for the entire world. Are we positive I can't stop this by just blowing something up? Don't be afraid. That wall connected. What drives Midge Maisel? I want a big life. I want to break every single rule there is. Oh, boy, I'm lucky. This Mrs. Maisel, you say everything I think. A terrifying connection. You seem to be experiencing very bad luck. I don't know about that. This is my lucky day. My business is really picking up. It's a busy professional office now. What was it like? So many dicks. What? Whatever. Ah, too much talking. Boy, are you in the wrong family, kid. <laughs> Not one person who's ever accomplished anything of worth in life has ever been happy. It's two steps forward, three steps back, and I'm tired of it. This is it. This is, this is the break. They didn't see you for what you are, a goddamn star. You win? I'm in. It's showtime! This is my lucky day! I'm gonna get this. You'll see. What defines you? What defines you? I ask first. There's nothing I wouldn't do for my daughter. Mrs. Michaels? Mr. Michaels asked me to give this to you. Sorry, ma'am. The building's closed. My husband works inside. I'm trying to reach him. I haven't heard from Owen in 24 hours. Where's my dad? I don't know. What is that? It's not who you think he is. Why are you making him sound like some criminal mastermind? I may not know why your father did what he did, but I know who he is. He lied to me, and then he disappeared, and I want to know the truth. I'm telling you, we'll find him. Hannah, you need to get out of there now. Where did you get this? Tell me who sent you! Go, now! Anna and her stepdaughter are in imminent danger. Is there something you're not telling me? They need to stay together. See you in two weeks for the first family visit. Yes, you will. Because, girl, when you get here in two weeks, we are about to. Everybody can hear you on speakerphone. Hey, Adam. Things are tough. I get that. You could stand to be a little more fun. I'm fun. It's time to do the pinata. Everything is okay. She's terrible.
terrifying. I want to hang with Dad. Oh, no, no, go over. Doing some normal ass shit. You know, Ash been on one. Ashley! You won't believe what she has done. This may be the cleanser that sends himself, throwing her a pass if she pressed against this. Sometimes it just is what the fuck it is. Bitch! She about to lose. I felt that on the other side. I'm really sorry. I didn't think it would end up like this. I am a good person. That is who I am. You better run for your life. Barry, you're irredeemable. The guy I was dating in L.A. Run. killed my acting teacher's girlfriend. Run. I think I might be in a lot of trouble. Run. You're irredeemable. Run. What do we do? Hank, this is your chance. It's our chance. Barry betrayed me. I showed him how I really felt, and he betrayed me. Run. You got a visitor. I'm trying to change him. Everything okay, mi amor? Yeah. Everything's gonna be great. You better run for your life. Is it okay if I proxy? Sorry, she'll speak to me through here, and then I'll just repeat whatever she says, not she. It. It is a machine. She wants to talk. Talk, 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 talk to you. If I say no, it's just gonna send someone else, isn't it? Probably. You are the only person on the planet who can fulfill this quest. You must locate the Holy Grail. The what now? Mrs. Davis is all-knowing and all-powerful. She not only knows you're coming for her, but she wants you to. Then I better get going. Wiley? What is that on your face? What, my stash? A lot's changed since I last saw you. Meet the resistance. What are you resisting? Same thing you are. Yeah, correct. Mrs. Davis? Don't give it a nine! No one calls Facebook dog. We gotta hold on to what we got. This is what it does. Everyone you meet is only trying to push you into doing what it wants. This is a matter of time before every person on Earth does whatever it asks them to. I'm the best weapon you've got. Um, I'm looking for the grail, the holy one. <laughs> Come and get it. So much new beavis. Check it out. So when are you gonna put those needles in? You're cool, Dad. <laughs> Ow, my back. So much new butthead. <laughs> Yeah, baby. My soul is like full of rain and stuff. Uh, Parenthood is cool. <laughs> it's 420. Everyone hold hands. Uh, hold hands, guys. All right. Uh, so many all new reasons. Hell, did when it hurt Lang's wall. Ah!
Oh, no. To stay on the couch. Now let the games begin. An all new season of Beavis and Butthead, streaming April 20th. I now pronounce you husband and husband. This is the happiest day of my life. Exclusively on Paramount Plus. It's impossible to explain this relationship to anyone outside of it. We just cut a baby out of a woman's womb. And she asked us to. We didn't just, like, do it. She's the funny one. <laughs> My sister and I do work that is groundbreaking, but hopeful, radical, but safe. Sometimes I feel I've got to. I want to change the way that women birth. It is world changing. How does that vomit inducing idealism translate into dollars? I do my job to help people. Baby sister, you are so deliciously perfect. Where do you come from? Is capitalism very bad? Are you okay? Oh, I'm brilliant. You want me to grow you a baby out of nothing? Bring it on. Let's do the research. Let's make anything happen. Are you God? How did you create life where it would not grow? That is not what we want to be doing, though. Mm, but it might be. But it's not. But it could be. But it's not. What Frankenstein trauma are you up to? I really like her. What do you mean? It's none of your business. Everything's my business, not this. They're both brilliant, they're both liabilities. We are extraordinary. You're a psychopath. Oh, well, if I'm a psycho, you're a psycho. We are as close to perfection as you can get. That is just nuts. I love it. You don't need anyone else. You never have. You were looking really crazy for a while there. As it turns out, I'm really sane. Isn't that wonderful? Sounds crazy. But none of you are safe here. Whoa, whoa, what the hell is she talking about? We are all in this thing together. There are things around here that walk and talk just like us until they walk up to you and rip your guts out. There is no way out. Oh, thank God we heard the screaming. You picked a bad spot. I need to do whatever I can to get these people home. Light breezes seem to whisper, I love you. Birds sing in the sycamore tree. But if all this was designed just to see how we react? What if this ain't real? What if it's all just a dream? to me out there. Something I, I don't understand. This place, it isn't what you think. Broken people don't survive here, boy. Fear is what makes us heroes. I'm seeing a lot of people push to their edge. You ever wonder if maybe that's the point? But in your dreams, whatever they be, dream a little dream of me. What's your dream wedding? I don't know. Okay, I'll go first. I would wear something 
really cute, you know? Just <laughs> festive. But not like white or bridal because no. you gotta keep them guessing. You gotta keep them guessing. <laughs> and I would walk down the aisle to the song Gloria by Laura Branigan. And of course, in my childhood, I dreamed that I would fly her in to sing it. But now, I have you. Oh, it's all. You can't touch Branigan. You can touch Branigan. No Barbara, no Judy, no Branigan. Come on. Gloria, Gloria, <laughs> oh. I think they've got your number. Gloria, I think they've got the alias. Gloria, that you've been living under, but you really don't remember. Oh, no. Was it something that they said? Oh, no. All the voices in your head. Oh, no. Call them Gloria. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can help each other, Gus. You could be something that I thought I lost for a long time ago. These past nine years have been trying. We have suffered immensely as a country, as a species. Just a matter of time before the whole world learns hybrids are key to the cure. And when that happens, everyone will want to be to the you. last man. They've got my kids. I need your help. My papa taught me. If I saw a human, I should hide. You. Of course. Can I trust you? Always. Eight years ago, you two were Citadel's top spies, but we were double crossed by one of our own and your memories were erased. I brought you here because I need your help. I coached Little Lee. There's my guy. Right now, every agent around the world is looking for you two. Nadia. Perdone, I think you have the wrong person. Should have stayed dead. You're gonna wish I was dead. You remember? It was Mason Kane. Mason Kane is dead. Whoever betrayed us is readying for something cataclysmic. Are we together? Don't flatter yourself. Never? I'm exceptionally skilled at getting Citadel agents to turn. You did this. Mason can never find out. You told me to trust you. Why would you trust me? I'm exceedingly untrustworthy. I'm a spy. We were set up. And there's no one else. It's just you and me. I tell you, I have Everything you know is a lie. You know that I'm no good. Have you ever pushed that red button? I think you pull it. It says pull, but no. So what do you think would happen? Nothing? 
something. Dan, Dan, Alex Forrest. No, I know him already. 